Today we're going to show you how to change the door shelf retainer bar on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job and you may not require any tools. If it's the same length as your original. If it isn't, you may need a small, soft-faced hammer, a hacksaw, a file, and a utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll start by opening the door of the shelf bar that we're going to replace. And then we'll remove one of the end caps. Now they have two little locking tabs, one on the top and one on the bottom. The easiest way is to pull down on it enough to compress the bottom one and tilt it out on the top. If it's really snug, you can tap it down with a soft-faced hammer. Once you've disengaged the top, lift up on the bottom and pull it out of the opening and slide it off the end of the retaining bar. At this point, you can slide the retaining bar out of the other shelf bracket and if yours is the same length as the part that was sent to you, you simply need to insert it into the existing shelf bar end cap and slide the end cap on your new shelf retaining bar and snap it back into place. If it is a different length, we'll need to take it to a suitable work surface so that we can measure the replacement part and cut it to length. Now that we have the retainer bar on a suitable work surface, we'll take the old one and we'll lay it flat on top of the new replacement one. Make sure it's perfectly flat on it and to the proper length. And then with a good sharp utility knife, we'll scribe the surface of the new one. You can also scribe the edges as well. This will ensure that we get a nice straight cut with a hacksaw. No. Okay. So again, as we put that main top on, make sure that we engage these two tabs under the two shoulder screws to secure it in place. So we'll just set that down about an inch back from the console. And then slide it forward and make sure it engaged on both sides. Replace the two 10 mil or Phillips screwdriver. Now that we've got a nice soft surface under the face of that retaining bar, we'll begin our cut. Again, we'll just concentrate on the edges first and we'll cut from the back side. Try to make sure our cuts are straight. You may find that you'll need to cut each edge individually or your saw blade will bind in the cut. Once we've gotten through both edges and right down to the to the blade is just touching the back of that shelf bar, we can flip that over. And then if we've made a strong enough cut on the face of it, it should snap off. Just carefully bend it. Cut here on this one. Now with our cuts complete on both edges, we can flip that over and as long as we've got a good deep score mark on the face of it, you can just tilt back and forth until it snaps free. And then with our flat file, we'll take the burrs off those edges and make sure we square everything up nice and square. Just test the edge with Back of your thumb, make sure that it's not too sharp. And we'll dry fit the end cap on it. Okay. 
And now we're ready to slide it back onto the re refrigerator door. Now with our new shelf rail cut to length and our end cap in place, we'll start by sliding it onto the opposite end cap. Make sure it's fully inserted into it. And we'll line up the back side of that end cap with the opening in the door liner and then snap it into place. And our repair is complete.